Lyrica is a Latin and Liberian inspired eatery at Navy Pier. Today we are learning one of its signature recipes in honor of National Taco Day. Yum! And joining us in our Studio 41 kitchen to break it all down is Executive Chef Jennifer Zambrano and her sous chef. Thank you both for being here with Hello. us. Uh, tell us about, this is a beef barbacoa taco. Taco. Okay. So barbacoa is pretty much barbecue. And yes. Traditionally it's cooked in a pit, underground, the leaves, but we're making an easier version And today. is barbacoa typically pork? It's typically lamb. They do a lot of lamb, goat. Okay, okay. all right. Traditionally. So, okay, and we're doing we're beef doing today. Beef. Okay, okay. And, and, and so we were, Tanya and I have been fascinated with these leaves that you cook it on. Explain to us a little bit about the, them. So they're just very large. I would say they're similar to a banana leaf, kind okay. of like that earthy. They grow very large. Mm. They're very um, fibrous. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the pulp that brings the aromas out and everything Steams like that. it a little bit. Steams it a little ah, bit. I love okay. it. Okay. Because right. that's pretty much what we're doing here. Everybody has a crock pot. Right. 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 pot at home. So uh -huh. we're kind of doing a little bit okay, of so, that. Okay. So, so this is, tell us how you get started with getting the barbacoa prepared. I know you've already prepared it, but just give us a little quick tutorial on that. Chuck is the best. It has a lot of fat. Yep. Um, it breaks down easy. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to do, you know, a sear, sear, and then sawul if you want to. We have the crock pot. Here, you come this way. We have the crock pot lined with a little bit of foil. Okay. And the gay leaf at the bottom. Got it. Mm -hmm. And then you want to put that in the pot. Four to six hours on low. On low, okay. And then a little bit of beer. Beer. Yeah. I put a little bit of okay. beer. Go it helps here. with the consomme. So you just want to steam it just a little oh, bit. Oh, just a little bit. bit. Okay, got a just moisture. a little bit. Just you need a moisture. Oh, yes. Just to get in. Yes. Okay. okay. Oh, and you put another one on top. I put another one on the top. And then some more. Parchment. It helps with kind of sealing it up, keeping the juices. Four to six hours on low. Okay. Low. Okay. You can go longer if you want. Go nice and low. That's even better. Okay. The longer, the better. Okay. And then when it's done, you pull that. You discard any of this. And then you pretty much just take it out chop it. I like to refry and have a little crunch. A little oh, yeah, yeah. So we do kind of put it, you know. Mm, I love that knife. Yeah, I mean, too. it's nothing like having a very oh, right? sharp knife. You need it. Yes, yes you, you do. Need it. Oh, there was just sitting there kind of pulling off. Yeah, right? <laughs> I know. It's like, uh, okay. Oh, that looks so good. And it's usually smothered in a little salsa. It's pasilla peppers, guajillo. Orange peel is optional. I like orange. I like a lot of citrus. It okay. goes well with chipotle, and uh, we have cinnamon sticks. Mm. Very oh. ar aromatic. Yeah, oh, very yeah. much so. Very okay. much. And then, if you don't have a good blender, I would say strain it. You get a nice little pulp. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this holds. So if you're making batches, you can use it for anything. Okay, else. and that's yes. adobo, correct? It's an it's an adobo. Okay, it's got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that adds even more flavor. Yeah. Yes. And okay. we do have a vegetarian dish also at Lyrica. So good. Roasted cauliflower, mm. root vegetable, acorn squash. Mm. Kind of like with pickled onions. You need that acid to kind of break it down. Yeah, I mm -hmm. love that. So you just get this crispy, as crispy as you can, as crispy as you like it, and then we have tortillas ready. I like the blue corn. I think they're a little bit more mealier. Okay. okay. Just a little. Okay. A little bit more authentic. But anything Earthy. that you have at home, I mean, I go to the store. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so I'm a flour girl. Is flour okay? You can use flour. Okay. okay. My Thank girls you. at home, they're, they're more of the okay. flour, yeah. sour cream. Yeah. Kind. yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, but once you take the meat out and you roast it, there's a consomme that comes out. There's a soup that makes. And I kind of like to strain it and serve it on the side. That's fantastic. Dip so you can dip it in there? Okay. Or just eat it as a soup. You can have potatoes, carrots, Ooh, that and have good. it on the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then how do you eat your, do you heat your, um, your tortillas on the hot? Because I usually just throw it over the fire on the stove. I do that too. It makes a mess. Yeah. But they kind of break. Okay. And you can steam oh. them too. But this is the preferred way. Okay. On a kamau. Okay. And you oh, want to no, really go mal? Oh, it's like I put them in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Oh, <laughs> so I, like, I didn't see I you like didn't put any oil on them. No, because there already has enough in there. It has enough in there. Okay. So I don't like it too greasy. Yeah, no, oh, I'm with you on that. Area and stuff, you have to get yeah. oil, but. This is, yeah. this is nice and soft and pliable. So we want to make a couple tacos okay, for us. Okay, so Liberia and um, the, the fusion is Liberia and Latin inspired, right? Yes. Okay, so how, how did the two come together? It's kind of like um, like a mesh right now, and we are moving towards um, more of just 
Spanish flavors. Okay. okay. All right. Right now. Oh, ooh, is that, is, are they more fall flavors that tend to be? They are. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. This looks so good. Oh my gosh, looks so good. Yeah. Wow. And you guys brought <laughs> the salsa that uh, you made. Yes. What's, what's in the salsa? It is. We have heirloom tomatoes. Okay. Mm. We have. We do put a little bit of the green onion, green tomatoes, poblanos we use, serranos. Mm, I love poblano peppers. Yeah. Okay. And they're very complex. Okay. We and then grill them and char them. Is this pickled? Pickled onions. Pickled onions. Pickled onions. Mm. So I don't it, know what you like on I like throw on there. I prefer okay. the pickled onion You crunch. do your way. Mm -hmm. Pickled onion crunch. I always, you always go with what the chef recommends. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And then we do some little salsa. This is the, this is what I prefer on there. Okay. okay. Thick. It is served warm in Lyrica. Okay. I like that. Yes. Yeah. Especially because we're in that fall, you know, temperature. Yes. Is it cool to put cheese on it? Yes. I have queso fresco. We have oh, pico. That, what that yes. Is queso fresco? Okay. Here you go. This is the mild well, farmer cheese. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Go yeah, I'm, I'm not either. You Whatever you recommend. There? That's what I'm saying. I always listen to the chef. Mm -hmm. Right? These look delicious. These look so good. Sometimes I'll pour a little on the top oh, and then yeah. dip. Go. Oh, I don't know if that's what you'd like. Yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. All right, so oh, here's the information for Lyrica. Yeah, it's on Na it's at Navy Pier, so 900 East Grand Avenue. Uh, go check them out. Check out the website. A beautiful interior, too. It's really it's beautiful. A pretty place beautiful to stop. Views. Have some tacos. Get the beautiful view of the water, too. Okay, we're gonna yeah, taste this. Let me try one, too. I'm not passing this up. Not on Taco Day. Taco and Vodka Day? I'm mm. headed. Mmm. Mmm. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, Jennifer, thank you so much. Wow. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. I love the crunch and the pickle, mm -hmm. or the onions. Mm -hmm. 